join kids hat family tia tia look mom gave me the gift money that grandma had left for us when she visited mom said we can go and have lunch together with it oh that's awesome should we go now yes let's go we have some money left should we get some cake parcel for our cousin june she will be visiting us this evening Why do you want to spend all our money, Tia? Grandma left it just for us. June doesn't have to know we went for lunch. Okay. While we're waiting for the check, do you want to hear a story? Oh, yes. Once upon a time, the sun, the moon, the wind went out for dinner with their uncle and aunt thunder and lightning their mother the star waited for them at home children you can order whatever you like oh wow thanks uncle i am going to try a bit of everything and so the children had a delicious meal of countless dishes and desserts None of them thought of saving anything for their mother except the moon. From every dish that was served, she hid a little piece in her hand to take it home to her mother. When they reached home, mother asked how their dinner was. Did you have a good time, children? Yes, mother. The dinner was just lovely. Oh, was it? Did you get some for me? Oh, mother, I had gone to enjoy myself, not to get you dinner. Hence I didn't get anything for you. Wind, did you get me any dinner? I had gone to enjoy a dinner out, mother. I didn't go to get you a dinner parcel. I didn't get you anything. Moon, did you remember to get anything for me? Yes, mother, I did. And she shook her hands. The most choicest dishes showered down from them. Sun You went out for your selfish pleasures and completely forgot about your mother at home. Hence you will forever be cursed. Your rays will always be hot and burn everything that comes near you. Men will hide themselves in your presence. Wind, you too did not care for your mother. You decided to selfishly enjoy the dishes by yourself. Hence, you too will be cursed. You will always accompany the heat and men will cover themselves in your presence. My dear moon, because you thought of someone else besides yourself, you will always be cool and calm. There will be no mean heat or blinding light from you. People will always love you and call you blessed. Mm, Tia, on second thoughts, you are right. We should take something for June. It is not right to think only about ourselves as we enjoy this lovely lunch. I'm glad you agree, Tofu. and so i'll let you pick the cake 
Let's take her favorite one, chocolate. Super! Isn't that John and his older brother? Yes, that's them. Look at that. He is really troubling his brother. Oh, I think John is in big trouble. I'm sure his brother is going to give him a big scolding. I don't think so. Why not? Didn't you see how he was troubling his brother? There is no way he's going to stop unless his brother scolds him. Don't decide on that till you've heard the story of the wind and the sun. A long time ago, the wind and the sun were just talking when the wind said something strange to the sun. You do know that I am more powerful than you, don't you? Don't be arrogant, my friend. But the wind got offended. I am not being arrogant, I am being truthful. If you don't believe me, let's have a competition right now. The sun did not want to compete with his friend, but the wind left him with no choice. Reluctantly, he agreed. Okay, my friend, let's have a competition. Just then, a young man was walking on the road below them. He was wearing a beautiful scarf and a handsome coat. See that man below? Whoever can get the scarf and the coat off him wins. Okay, wind. You go ahead first. And so the wind blew at the man. The man's scarf moved a bit and his coat front flapped a little. I was just beginning. I will show the man some more of my power now. Now the wind blew a little more strongly. The man's scarf and coat front started flapping more in the wind. The wind grew fiercer and blew more wildly at him. The man's scarf almost left him, but he caught it and tied it around his neck properly. The wind blew at the man with all his power and anger, but it only made the man wrap his scarf and coat around him more tightly. He started feeling so cold with the wind blowing at him that he wrapped his arms around his legs and sat down by the road. The wind failed to get his scarf and coat off. I have still not lost. If my power and anger couldn't do the job, you surely won't be able to do it either. Let us see. I think you have frozen the poor man. Maybe he could use some warmth. And so the sun gently smiled a bit at the man. Immediately, the man started feeling better. He straightened up and the color returned to his cheeks. He got up and started walking his way again. Is that it? Is that all you will do? 
smile at him the son ignored his friend and smiled at the man a little bit more the man became more comfortable and walked his way faster watch what happens now now the son gave the man an even bigger smile as the sun's smile grew bigger the man started feeling warmer and warmer finally he could take it no more and started sweating he slowly took his scarf off oh no at last the sun's warmth became so much for the man that he took off his coat and flung it aside The sun had won the competition. I am sorry. I underestimated the effect of gentleness. I thought only power could make things happen in the world, but I was wrong. Oh, don't worry, my friend. Why don't you blow at him gently so his sweat can vanish? The wind did so while the sun continued to smile at him lightly. The man went on his way enjoying a pleasant day. Wow, Tia. That's a wonderful way to be with people. Yes, there are better ways of changing things than a show of anger and power. I'm so glad you are my elder sister, Tia. If ever I do something wrong, I know you will correct me without scolding me. Well, looks like John also has a great brother. See? He's no longer troubling his brother. Miss Pine's last day at school today. Yes, I'm going to miss her too. She was very nice. Yes, and she gave all of us from class little souvenirs to remember her by. Really? Wow! What did you get? That's the thing. She gave everyone toys or fancy stationery. All she gave me was this empty diary. So, what's wrong with it? What will I do with a diary? All the kids were showing me their lovely gifts and I felt so bad. I think you need to know about the miller's son who got a cat from the miller. Once upon a time, there lived a miller who had three sons. When the miller was dying, he left his mill to his eldest son, his donkey to his second son. And for the youngest son, he left his pet cat. The two elder brothers could use the mill and the donkey for trade and earning money. But the cat had no use for them. So they kicked the youngest brother and his cat out of their home. One day, when the third son was sitting with his cat, the cat said to him, Master, don't worry. Everything will be fine. How will that be? Can you get me a pair of shoes and a bag? I have very little money left. 
but I have never seen a talking cat before. So I trust you. And so the master bought the cat, the boots and the bag. The cat happily took it and went into the nearby forest. There, he found a rabbit hole. He put the bag to the mouth of the hole. As soon as the rabbit came out, he got caught in the bag. The cat quickly tied its mouth and took it to the master. Master, I have brought you a rabbit for dinner. Let me cook it for you. The cat quickly cooked delicious dinner for his master. Once they were done, he went back to the rabbit hole. There he caught one more rabbit. He took this rabbit to the king's palace. Your Majesty, my Lord Marquis of Cariba has sent you a gift. Thank you, Puss, and thank the Marquis for me. The cat continued to do this for many days. One day, it heard about a nasty ogre that everyone was scared of. The cat went to meet him. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I just came to see why everyone is scared of you. I don't see any reason. Don't you know who I am? I can kill you right now. I don't think so. You don't really have the power. I have the power to take any shape I want. I can become a lion and strike you. Ha <laughs> ha! I am not scared of lions. I am only scared of rabbits. Well, here it goes then. As soon as the ogre turned himself into a rabbit, the cat bounced on him and killed him. The next day he requested his master, Master, please go and bathe in the lake outside the forest. I request you. The master agreed. he was taking a bath, the cat stole the master's clothes and hid them. Then he ran to the highway and waited for any carriage to pass. As soon as he saw the king's carriage pass, he called out, Help! Your Majesty, my master is in the lake, but someone stole his clothes. I don't want him to catch a cold. Please help. The king recognized the cat who had been bringing his master's gifts to him every day and stopped immediately. He sent his man to retrieve some clothes from the castle and took them to the master. They gave the clothes to the third son who looked very handsome in them. Ride with my daughter and me, Marquis of Caraba. We will take you to your place of stay. Thank you, my lord. 
The cat sat in front with the driver while his master sat with the king and his daughter in the back. He showed the driver the way to the ogre's castle and told him to take them there. Once they had reached, the cat got down and opened the door of the carriage. We are home, master. Uh, yes, dear puss. Thank you. The king was impressed by the third son's humility and manners. He decided to get his daughter married to him. The young couple happily agreed. And they lived happily ever after. So the cat that everybody thought was of no use was extremely useful and changed everything for the third son. Exactly, Tofu. I am going to keep this diary close to me always and use it to write great stories. I am happy for you. Did you take my school project? Yes, Tofu. I took it to school with me. How can you, Tia? I worked on that project for six weeks. I used all my pocket money to get the supplies for it. It wasn't yours to take. Tofu, can you please calm down? There is a reason that I took it. What could be a good reason to steal my project? Before I tell you that, I need to tell you something else. The Other Side of the Wall Once upon a time, a girl loved gardening. She had many beautiful flowering plants in her garden. One day, she went to the market and met a lady selling seeds. These are seeds of a beautiful flowering creeper plant. If you want to plant it near a wall, it will take a support of the wall and grow. Take these, your garden will become even more beautiful. The girl bought the seeds and merrily came home. She planted them by the back wall of her garden. It was a wall that she shared with her neighbour. Her neighbour couldn't walk but they would often talk to each other from behind this wall. I have planted seeds of a lovely new plant. Oh, that's nice. I wish I could someday come and see a beautiful garden. But alas, I cannot move. My own garden has become a dry patch of land as I cannot take care of it. Many months passed and the girl tended to her new creeper plant every day. And with each day, the plant became bigger and bigger. But it didn't flower. Not a single flower grew on it. Frustrated by the only plant that did not give her flowers, she decided to cut it down. She brought her axe and was about to chop the creeper down. Just then, her neighbour called out. Is that you? I have been meaning to talk to you for many weeks. Thank you so much for the lovely flowers. Flowers? Yes, they are beautiful. I feel so happy every time I see them. The girl rushed to the neighbor's house. She saw that the creeper from her garden 
had pushed through the cracks and holes in her wall and was growing on her neighbor's side of the wall. And it was full of the most beautiful flowers she had ever seen in her life. You didn't submit the project as your own, did you, Tia? You took it for a good cause. Yes, I am glad that you have understood that. I took it because the house on your project kept falling apart. I took it to the carpentry lab and got it fixed. I will get it back tomorrow. Oh dear, you are so nice and I was so horrible to you. I am sorry. It's okay Tofu, just remember that things may not always be what they seem like. Tofu, I think you should help the poor dog. Why, Tia? Wait, I'll explain this to you through a story. The Lion and the Mouse One day, a lion was sleeping in his den. A mouse was also playing nearby. Little mouse began running up and down upon him. This soon wakened the lion. Angry at the little mouse, the lion caught the mouse and said, You little mouse, how dare you wake me? I will kill you. The mouse was frightened and prayed to the lion. Pardon, O oh king, please do not kill me. I am a little creature. Please let me go and I will do you a good return one day for sparing my life. The lion was rather amused to hear this, thinking, what good can he do to me? But let him go. A few days after, the lion was walking in a jungle. He found himself caught in a hunter's net. He roared and rolled to get out of the net, but he failed. The lion was pleading for help. Help me, help me. The mouse, whose life was saved by the lion, heard the roar and ran to the lion and said, Don't worry, my friend, I will save you. The mouse gathered all his friends and told them, We all have to help my friend and set him free. The mouse and his friends cut through the net and set the lion free. The lion escaped and thanked the mouse. And from that day, they became the best of friends. Like the little mouse and lion had become friends and in the end, helped each other. You should help this dog too. Because a friend in need is a friend indeed. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, Join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.